Hey everyone, Schnickerman here, back with another Digimon World Next Order video. Today we're going to talk about the trophy Professor of Digimon and how you can get it and some general strategies in order to do so. So in order to know how many Digimon you've raised so far, you want to open up your menu, go to Field Guide, and you can see in the top right hand corner it says Number Raised. So on my example I have 178 out of 231 raised. So now something that was confusing me at first, since this is the last trophy I'm trying to get before the Platinum, is you see some have question marks. However, the question marks aren't the only ones that you never have raised before. These are just ones you have no information on whatsoever. So what you actually want to do is, let's start at the bottom, for example. So these ones, obviously, we need to figure out, but we don't know what they are. Like, let's take Omegamon Alter B, for example. You click on it, and you see how it says Details Unknown Due to No Training. That means you've seen this Digimon before, but you never raised it yourself. So you're going to basically want to go through and find all these ones. So like Omega Shoutmon, I've had him. Jessmon, had him. Um, I'm trying to find one that I didn't have. Imperial Jamon, PM, I never had it before. Details unknown. Um, so you're basically going to want to make a list and just put down all the ones that you haven't raised yet. Leopardmon, for example. The next thing you're going to want to do is when you start raising your Digimon, you can... Go to Flodia, go to the Research Dojo, and talk to Grapleomon, and ask him to show you the progress chart. So now when I'm raising Digimon, this is extremely important to be able to lock in whatever evolutions I want for either partner. And basically because of that, you know, focus on a specific branch of Digivolution that I don't currently have. Like one that I know I haven't ever got. Venom Myotismon, right? So we basically want to get Demi Devimon and then Devimon and then Myotismon and then Ven Venom Myotismon. So for example, let's go back here. Let's go to our partner. You can see that Cocomon can digivolve into Demi Devimon. And you see that it says fixed. Fixed means you currently have the stats. So as soon as the day that it would digivolve on occurs, you'll get that one. But because there are five different options, we want to lock these out. So if you click X, it blocks these evolutions. So we block them all out. As soon as it's able to Digivolve, we'll get Demi Devimon. Now, see in this example um, how three of them say Fix, and this says H. You can see an H, an L, or an M. That means high, medium, or low chance that you'll get this on the day. Now, if you see on the right-hand side, you see there's also Stats Evolved, the ones that are green mean you have that one unlocked red means you don't have enough information yet which you can get through taking good care of your digimon maybe fighting a certain amount of um, enemies etc and in the bottom right hand corner where it says key points that will tell you how many greens you need in order to get that evolution but it's a high chance so that means we probably only need one more so for this example we would just need 15 or more victories and we would probably get this evolution and let's say we're going to block all those off that's the one we want so if you follow this strategy in no time, you'll be able to get 200 evolutions. One more thing I want to say is when you get Megas, if you talk to uh, Pale Jermon, uh, you can DNA Digivolve certain Digimon, and they'll even give you technically another evolution, which you may not have as well. So make sure to take advantage of that. And for that example, the Digimon that you usually get from DNA Digivolving would be this bottom area. So some of these. So once you get the Digimon that you want, if you're just trying to get the 200 different evolutions, what you can do is you can go to the advanced item shop, buy any of these devil chips, and basically feed them to your Digimon. And then when you're feeding them to your Digimon, it'll tell you when you can't give them any more because they don't have enough life left. And that will essentially mean that within the next day in game time, um, both your partners will die as long as you feed them both. So I'm going to start feeding them the devil chips. Okay, so you see Dango doesn't have enough life left. Now they both don't have enough life left, so that means they'll die within a day. And then another thing I would recommend is once you get to this point, 
just start fishing or find another way of making money because training Digimon usually costs some money if you want to get food to boost their stats and help get their certain evolutions. So I'd recommend just then fishing until these two Digimon die. Thanks everyone for watching. If you want to check out more Digimon World Next Order trophy guide videos, I'll put a link here for the playlist. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like Digimon content as well as other retro gaming content. And if there's anything you want to know about this trophy or maybe even further videos, leave it in the comments below and I'll be sure to answer and get back to you. Until next time guys, peace out.